Today we're going to be going over Pakal already having his skills changed. We're also going to be covering my opinions on the face to face with the developers and the upcoming equipment change. And at the very end, we're going to open up 182 gold keys. So make sure you stick around. What's going on guys? Cheers. Mmm, coffee. Oh my it smells so good. This is awkward. Okay. This is awkward. I just made a video talking about how I'm super worried that Pakal is going to be overpowered. And then today we see he's in the game and they've already changed his expertise. Now, does this mean that Pakal was nerfed? Possibly, but I think more likely the translation that we got before these commanders came into the game was either incomplete or wrong. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, we covered the official skill reveal for Pakal. You can see here, this is the official Rise of Kingdoms Instagram account, okay? And you can see at the bottom, his expertise, Mayan strength, new skill, passive skill. It says when this commander launches a rally attack, all damage dealt is increased by 5%. Troops led by this commander deal 3% increased counterattack damage and take 20% less damage from all sources for five seconds after using an active skill. And then it's cut off there. But my assumption was that it was going to be this effect can trigger uh, one at most once every five or 10 seconds. If we take a look in game, we see his expertise is completely different. It says troops led by this commander deal 20% increased counterattack damage and take 5% less damage from all sources for three seconds after using an active skill. This effect can trigger at most once every five seconds. So you can see right away, he lost the 5% increase in all damage during a rally, and he got 20% increased counterattack damage in exchange for a much lower damage taken reduction of only 5% and it's only for three seconds instead of five seconds. So was this a nerf? Obviously there's no way to know. We have no idea why this changed from the so-called official reveal of the skills. And then just a couple days later, we see that it's officially not accurate. Obviously this makes Pakal less tanky, right? Going from five seconds to three seconds is a pretty significant drop. And of course, reducing the damage taken reduction from 20% to 5%. That's huge. However, he does have way more counterattack damage now. So that is really nice. It's still going to be absolutely devastating to swarm a Pakal with Herald, for example. So my opinion on this commander hasn't changed that much. Uh, I do think that this is not as good as it was in the official reveal, but I still think that a Herald Pakal combo is going to be absolutely devastating and insanely deadly. More than likely what happened was the translation perhaps got just messed up and then they released the official skills on social media and then the actual developers were like, wait a minute, no, th this is, this is the actual skill right here, which makes me feel like they just shouldn't even bother releasing these skills early. If a, the translation, if they can't be accurate with the translation, just don't release the, the translation early. Just wait till it comes into the game or B, if you're not done testing the commander and you're not a hundred percent set in stone on those skills, then probably just don't tell the community about it until it comes into the actual game because now people are confused and they feel like maybe they can't trust the official social media accounts with some of these you know commander skills and that makes sense but honestly i i would rather them change it before anybody is even able to invest in this commander than you know six months from now realize that it's too strong and they nerf it and then people got to get compensation so regardless i figured i would talk about this here in the video i also want to talk about here uh chuck his expertise he only deals 50 damage factor. I honestly, when I saw the skills revealed on social media, I thought that that was fake, like not fake, but I thought it wasn't like, I don't know. It just didn't seem accurate. Like what, what, like, why even add that? You know what I mean? Like 50 damage factor to only three targets and it gets reduced by 15% for each of them. Like why, what, what, what are you trying to, you trying to cap the power on that bad boy? It's like, he's flicking his cigarette on, on the enemy. I, I don't know. I feel like that damage is, is sort of irrelevant, right? Like three targets, that's 150 damage factor and it can go once every three seconds. So, I mean, you know, it adds up. Okay. It does add up if you're hitting three targets every time, but still i just thought like that was kind of a joke and it turns out that's not a joke so I, I don't know i'm sort of let down by that you guys can let me know in the comment section below anyway let's talk about the face to face with the developers because at the very bottom they would also like to continue to invite everyone to make their opinions or suggestions known so here we are i'm going to share with you lilith my opinion 
on your face to face with the developers so let's take a look here everybody has already seen this already right this came out like three four days ago you guys have probably all seen other content creators talk about it you've read it yourself you've made up your mind and i just feel like i'm gonna, I'm gonna just talk about it here and give you my perspective this entire face to face with the developers is focused on equipment and in particular special talents that you get when you forge equipment basically what this is saying is that the developers have realized that the guaranteed special talent in five forgings is a little bit confusing and not that great of a system and they want to change it to a refinement system and they actually haven't uh, determined a final term for that yet they just say refinement so let's talk about that it says this system allows governors to refine special talents into equipment without repeated forgings of course the original forging mechanism can still produce special talents but the probability will no longer increase with repeated attempts so that means that once this comes live everything every single forging is going to have an 11 percent chance of a special talent unless they change that initial you know number but it should be probably around 10 percent. let's just say it's 10 percent. we also are planning to inherit previous forge attempts into the new refinement system to allow governors to keep forging with peace of mind so if you guys are holding on to or prevent or not forging because of this Go ahead and forge if you need the equipment go ahead and do it it should be noted that the costs probabilities etc of refinement remain exactly the same as under the existing forging system we are hoping that these changes will provide governors with a more direct sense of the progress of special talent acquisition so this is a good idea i think this is a good idea right and what this is saying is that they're going to inherit previous forge attempts so if you've crafted uh an item for you know three times and you still haven't gotten that special talent that means that you would be guaranteed uh if not the next time the time after to get that special talent so with this new system my assumption is that you know once this rolls out that item is going to be 60 percent refined that's kind of the the vibe that i'm getting from this right because you've already crafted three out of the five times required to guarantee it the real question becomes what is it going to cost to refine a particular piece of equipment the most logical answer is that in order to add one refinement to a particular piece of equipment it's going to cost one blueprint plus the materials required to make that separate item because that's what it costs to actually reforge right now of course plus some gold on top of that now this is using the logic that they're going to keep the exact same linear system and just sort of recalculate and just redisplay how it's showed to governors which you know that again that's the simplest way that they could do it but that's not saying that they're going to do it that way they could do a totally separate way of, of refining right of course we'll just have to wait and see how this comes out but overall i i like this change i don't really think this changes much honestly it just changes how you're looking at things and sort of it'll give you a better idea of what progress you're making towards special talent which is good because in the late game everybody is trying to progress towards getting full special talented gear right so being able to see that progress is important even if the actual underlying probabilities and costs don't change at all next it says secondly we've made some major adjustments to the way in which you receive and the quantities of equipment related blueprints and materials providing greater access to preferred equipment for many more governors we can reveal that we are considering removing blueprint fragments from equipment chests and adding epic and legendary blueprints we will also be adding resource items speed ups and blueprints for epic sets so what this sounds like to me i mean this literally says equipment chests so if we go in here we can take a look at the equipment chest that's what i'm assuming they're talking about it says it right there so my assumption is that they're going to change this prize pool so instead of getting fragments of legendary gear you're going to be able to get full blueprints with the assumption that the probability of doing so is going to probably be uh really low uh it's probably going to be really low i mean it's a 0.7 percent chance of getting a fragment of a blueprint and you got to do that 30 times just to get the blueprint just to attempt to forge it if you could afford it so yeah these chests are not exciting to me honestly like there's even even with the fragments of legendaries there's really only like two or three fragments in here that i even care about the rest of them are just like they're garbage right a lot of these give you attack buffs and I, I don't know they're just not that great in terms of pieces of equipment so if they change this to give you 
speed ups resources materials and then the chance of getting full blueprints then great i think that's cool i think that's fine i'm happy about that of course this update will not change the number of gems needed to purchase equipment chest keys so i don't know i think if i were you um i would probably hold on to your equipment chest keys right now um i think it sounds like they're just gonna with this major update it's probably gonna be better i don't see how they could make that chest worse in my opinion it's just a shit chest let's be real so um i'm happy that they're changing this uh adding speed ups I mean, if they're universal speed ups, then I'm all on board. But if you add a bunch of like research speed ups and stuff and like, I, I don't know, that just doesn't sound exciting to me. Um, this could be an opportunity for them to add a, a lot of healing speed ups. I would love to see big, like one or three hour or even eight hour healing speed ups in here to compensate for that atrocious healing update that they did like what a year ago or something like that. They still haven't uh, done anything to resolve the fact that that update still sucks. Let's just, let's just be real. Okay that update was garbage i get the point of it but it wasn't good so maybe you can sort of rectify that decision uh you know it's better late than ever right of course um let's see it says in addition to via uh, equipment chest we are also making some improvements to the vip shop courier station lucerne scrolls events uh bundles and other equipment related content the overall direction will be uh towards giving governors easier and faster access to the blueprints and materials they desire so this is good this sounds to me um easier and faster access sounds to me like the inclusion of more choose one chests hopefully and i don't actually know but hopefully we're gonna get more um pick one chest for for blueprint fragments and more pick one chests for your uh materials that would be awesome vip shop overhaul is uh it's a good choice i'm happy about that i hope they cut the cost of a lot of those things same thing with lucerne uh, i'm sorry the courier station and hey if they add more equipment related stuff to bundles that is just straight value for those of us that do spend so that's exciting in addition to the above we're also planning to significantly reduce material production times finally we've also decided to limit the use of season of conquest equipment outside the season to try to make the equipment system as a whole fairer so this is good obviously a more you know fair fighting environment is is nice this guys I, I don't know this all let's be real let's be honest i'm gonna i'm gonna bring it back to reality here for a second this all seems too good to be true right like let's not get too excited um this is lilith we're talking about right and every time they dangle something really exciting in front of us and being like oh my god they're listening to us this is what we always wanted they're gonna give us everything we wanted it's always right before some bullshit happens right after okay mark my words something is coming I just feel it in my soul, bro. I feel it in my soul. There's going to be like, <clears throat> I swear to you in three months, they're going to release a, like a ship update and you're going to be able to build your own ships. There's going to be naval battles and building. It's going to cost 10,000 gems and upgrade is going to cost, you know, blueprints for your ship. And it's going to be mega expensive. And there's going to be, all, just, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, cause this, this is too good to be true. It just is. Lilith's track record is objectively bad. It is objectively bad. The data proves it. A lot of times we see this where they offer something that sounds good and then they always mess it up right after so lilith just don't with the evil villain vibes that you've been going with lately i know you're looking for short-term profits i get that and i don't agree with it but i understand it because you're a business but let's just hang on here guys for a second okay i am cautiously optimistic but i also live in reality so i know that this is going to come out everyone's going to be excited about it and then i feel like feel like there's gonna be something that comes right after that uh is not something we're super thrilled about that's my assumption i hope i genuinely hope i'm wrong uh but this just seems too good to be too i mean like like significantly reducing material production times how could that possibly go bad like trust me lilith will find a way to do it again i hope i'm wrong lilith pr please prove me wrong please I would love for you to do that i want to be on your side i love this game i've been playing it for years man this is such a good game but man your track record is so bad i can't believe it i couldn't come up with a worse track record if i literally tried so that's my thoughts let's go ahead and open up all of these golden chests believe it or not ladies and gentlemen i'm looking for sunduk i'm so, i'm one i'm one skill away when we're most mostly there to expertise her and then i'm done with that go so i'm so let's just do it let's pop these open in three two actually let's do the silver chest first let's get that out of the way let's reset the timer on that it's driving me kind of crazy i'm sure it was driving you crazy too all right let's go ahead and do it three two one boom i'm not gonna look i'm not gonna look i'm gonna let it load okay all right 
we've got 26 dazzling starlight sculptures nice we got three blessed i'll take it i'll take it not that many resources i feel like i don't know was that a lot of resources i feel like it wasn't 43 hours of universal speed ups that's nice this lilith you got to change that you got to change it let's just be real let's call let's just call it how it is you got to change that we got a lot of epics here not excited for bjorn so that's cool if you guys are into bjorn that's good we got eight mulan sculptures so i'm excited about that tenashita i don't have him expertise yet so that is also sculptures that i will use we've got three sunduk literally one of the lowest amounts god that is so heartbreaking we got 15 cleopatra absolutely useless she's expertise seven else is nice these i've already expertise tau tau and L and uh what is this this is Martel. Two Freddy. It is what it is. And oh, we got two summons of Sunduk. I take it back. Wait, we got 13 and one. So 23 of Julius Caesar like that. I mean, he's not good, but it is what it is. We got two full summons of Martel. That's crazy. Those of you who love Martel, you are probably so upset right now. Shout out again. I expertise these three, man. I don't need them anymore. So yeah, a lot of good sculptures in here for commanders that I don't have expertise yet, but again these aren't the greatest commanders so i don't know let's take a look can we finish sunduk holy can we finish sunduk oh my god ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the moment wow we way overshot that boys and girls there it is it is not every day that you get to expertise a legendary without spending any money my goodness gracious siege unit load by 30 percent and additional 10% resources. This is the goddess of collecting at the Alliance mother load. I love it. I'm so happy. I should have focused on her before Cleopatra. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just so close with Cleopatra that I just wanted to get it done. And yeah, how is her power higher than my Constantine? Uh, Constantine has all the equipment. I, I don't know. Whatever. Drop a thumbs up on the video if you made it all the way to the end. It really helps out the video a ton. It helps get it into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. Comment down below your thoughts on them changing the official release of Pakal's skills, as well as your thoughts on the upcoming changes to the equipment system. Are you excited and happy about the increase in the amount of materials and blueprints you're going to get? Or are you skeptical because you have every reason to be if you haven't downloaded rise of kingdoms for your pc yet there's a link in the description to download it it's a program called blue sacks it's my favorite way to play and downloading with my link does support the channel it's a free way to support the channel if you don't like the uh, the program just uninstall it later as always my social media links they're in the description make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace